Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of Mega Man Unlimited PC fan made game. I'm super excited apparently. I mean, didn't you notice last time? Of course you did. This is probably better than any original Mega Man release. I've been waiting for, for this for years, trust me. Uh, because, you know, a friend of mine was working on part of the game and he introduced it to me and that's not so wrong. But anyways, today I'm doing uh, Comet Woman and then... Jetman. Yeah, those are the two stages I'm doing today. Remember, I will have to do some revisitings basically to get the Yoko letters because there is one in Tankman stage, but I need the glue man's uh, weapon in order to access the, the area, the alternate path. So I will have to do revisitings in the necessary stages. I will do a part for that only, I guess. Okay, without further delay, let's uh, hit on women now. But I'm gay. Who cares? Women are gross. Oh yeah, this is the typical, like, Starman level with gravity, or no gravity. Actually, I actually should kill myself and start from the two lives again. I just don't trust myself enough. <laughs> Forgot to do that off-screen, uh, doesn't matter. I should buy more lives, in fact. I don't think you can get currency here in order to farm that kind of thing, but you have enough. How much do I have? Like 300? No, not even 200. Only 150. That's enough to buy seven lives easily. I'll have, I, I will do that many times. But in, in any case, when I am getting close to the end of the game, I will use one of my older save files and use pretty much all the farming that I did in the past. So I don't have to do the farming all over again just for a recording. The job is done. The dirty work is done. Oh yeah, this is one of the tracks that I didn't like so much. It doesn't it didn't sound totally mega managed to me. Still decent, but not that great. You can download even the soundtrack. I don't know, if, if you have the minimal, like, desire to complain about my commentary that I'm talking over the music, um, first, uh, play the game yourselves. Second, um, you can download the soundtrack and listen to the music all day without any annoying commentary from any third world person. Um, so there you go. Solutions given. I give you the problem, but I also give you the solution for that, so... I'm not going for the life. I already made it to the second half anyway. Surprisingly fast. Yeah, I've been playing this too many times that I end up like doing things mechanically. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I guess a good thing for the sake of... Continuity and... Fast gameplay. But bad for me, as an individual, because I become a sadder person every time I get good at a game. More money. All the money helps. Take a lot of damage. That's the thing with most of the enemies. You gotta watch the damage you take. I should buy E-Tanks, just for the hell of it, in case of an emergency, or many emergencies. Well, it was a terrible emergency that not even an E-Tank would actually help solving. So it makes no difference. Oops. Oh my god, I'm winning. Well, I really made it to the second half, so I'm not doing the, the suicide thing. If I happen to lose all of my lives, well... I will do a novi new video, who cares. Or editing, or whatever. Oh my god, here we go. 
Am I like unconsciously trying to rush things? I say to myself, fuck pressure, but I pressure myself. <laughs> That's uh, dumb enough. That was a bad move, that was a worse move, even. There we go. This thing is not shooting for some reason, or it's having difficulties to make the things work. I don't have any tank, no, not even a mini one. It's not a good thing. Totally not a good thing. Not this soon in the game, last life. Is it even worth it? Is it even worth it? Well, I will have to make it to the boss. Not with full energy, but with a big amount or decent amount. It's not the, who, the one who fights. I actually have done it like this many times, like on my last life, thinking that I pretty much everything is lost. And I get strength from somewhere and I made it. It's a miracle. Yeah, I was expecting something like that actually. What about you giving me a life? In the game that is. Just keep going, yeah, it was like wasting time killing enemies that I don't have to even touch. Oh yeah, wait, I have a tank arsenal thing. So I got an actual E-Tank. Yeah, but as long as I don't fucking fall off a pit, stupidly, or stupidly or smartly or whatever, I wish I had the yo-yo. Yo-yo is good for paralyzing these dudes. Well, whatever. I mean, the yo-yo kills them, but I can paralyze them with anything. Pretty much. I already made it to the end. Yeah. Well. If I make this jump properly... Eh. And I have no W tank, so don't fuck it up, please. No this time. Alright, done. And yeah. See? Told you. Probably in the last attempt was going to make it, and precisely what happened. I will be using the A tank, trust me. Oh, maybe not. It would be ideal if I don't. And it didn't. Good thing. So I don't have to buy. They cost 30 bolts. What I'm doing with this last life is basically get back to Nailman stage. Get the big bolts and the little bolts and then kill myself. So the farming is actually worth it. I, sh I should have done that with the previous credit that I lost on purpose. In this very same stage, I believe. I'm saving basically the progress, not the amount of lies, precisely. Um, yeah, going back to Nail Man. You will probably see me do this often. Or at least in between bosses. Remember, I will try to beat two every time. I guess that's more li more likely more than likely happening. No matter how much it takes. 20 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes, two days and a half. Right? Because it would take me two days and a half, basically, to beat two bosses. That's something likely to happen. Just do the thing. 
Probably would take me longer to get to a pit. But don't worry, I'm saving all the progress. New lives, new amount of lives. Two. 210 volts. Not a bad amount at all. And I would go to buy. Already got all of them. I'm done with all E tanks and W tanks. See? Totally worth it. Uh, probably no more lives. I would be able to afford only one, but still. And I will save again, because that's actually a good thing to do. See? I'll have to get the Yoko letters. Alright, let's go to Jetman stage. He's weak to the common dash, just in case. Wait, isn't... Yeah, here... More than likely you will see me get the first Yoko letter. The Y, precisely. Yeah, it's in the stage. Doesn't require any... I mean, yeah, it does require an initial weapon, but I already have it. The tank arsenal. It's like another level in space, but within... Without the gravity feature. It actually got some other funny jokes on the way. That's supposed to be a newer version of Peepee. -pee. Peepee is the name of the bird that carries all of those. Babies. Oh, yeah, mini balls. Cargo metal. I know it has another name, obviously, but call it that because I'm cool. Yeah, you get the letter in the second half. This is the second half after the mini balls. Kind of makes sense, though. Hmm. The hell is that? So this is where you have to break something using a weapon, and then you access a new area. And in this case, there are two actually weapons that do that: trying to mass and. And the tank arsenal. What did he use that for? Care about taking the hits anyway. I don't care, I mean. Someone like I care. No, I don't. Because if you if I probably gonna die on purpose or something. I will just take the regular path. It's an alternate one for the letter. As you can see, that's a W. I mean, uh, oh my god, seriously? The Y. I'm in a rush, apparently. But don't worry, as long as I get the letter once, I wouldn't care about anything else. A little more tedious to do some extra path. That's pretty much the tendency for pre the four letters. Well, let's see if I can actually make the connection and take the regular path after getting the letter. Because normally, once I get the letter, I just commit suicide. That's fucking fair. Close. Yeah, 
It's better this way. There we go. We still have to get to the very top. Make a jump there. And then keep shooting because this guy with the missile will keep shooting at you or coming at you. Gotta watch every jump. I don't trust myself. Look how much confidence I have in myself. I can use an E-Tank if I want. I, I will keep like farming and buying more E-Tanks later. Pretty much when I'm done with all the regular stages. And in between wild stages. I think I already mentioned this, but you can actually save in between wild stages as well. Oh yeah, what's the point of getting those? I already got the four of them. And I died. And I could have used an E-Tank just to keep making progress. That was a waste of time. At least I got the letter. I don't have to worry about that right now. But I only have one life to do all the rest without fucking up. And that's something I actually have to make an effort for. Not fucking up. I actually have to buy more lives. And to farm me like in between videos or so. Well, this time I'm taking a regular path for you to see how it is. Isn't this the one? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is where I got the mini tanks and blah 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 blah. At some point I will be using a lot of the... Uh, ...on the rush jet. I don't know how soon. Is this where I died? No, it was before even. Oh my god! That's a problem, it pushes you back and you cannot move from there. Anyway, I will be back, I will be back, sorry, in a second, with proper editing, when I am pretty much at the same place where I died. So you can see the end of the stage properly. Okay, here we are again. This is what I did last time. Oh yeah. Just go away, and I'll use it again. Breaking games by using the jet. It's good to use it sometimes. Not abuse it. Just sometimes it's fine. Oh yeah, I gotta fight the metal guy again. These mini bosses generally take very few hits. Not bothering with this guy. Actually, I would need an E-Tank for, for this boss. And probably a W tank as well, because I ran out of the dash comet very fast. Don't worry, everything is under control. Yeah, the thing is, in order to not to get hit by those missiles, you have to use the dash comet again. Problem is, you don't have so many of it. But don't worry, I will use the energy tanks, or the W tanks for that. Right now. This is the pattern. The easiest. Kinda. That's it. Yeah, he actually got an extra life on the way again. And they're in pretty much on the first life. That's typical of recording shit. You do excellent when you are off screen and when you are recording or streaming. You do worse. Actually, I haven't done bad. I said I was going to die a lot. It's not doing I'm not doing anything I didn't say I was gonna do. So there you go, I'm completely justified. Suck my dick. Jet missile! So yeah, now I can save my game with three lives even, without having to buy. I don't think I had to use any E-Tank, just a W-Tank, so that's okay. Actually, W-Tanks are easier to get in the actual stages. Oh yeah, mini cutscene for halfway through the bosses.
a virus. Pretty much what happened in Mega Man 10, right? Or 9? I don't even remember anymore. <clears throat> I think it was 9. Uh, yeah. Four more to go. Yeah, I still have to do the revisiting, so I told you. I already got the letter in Jetman. Uh, the other two letters are in Trinitu Man and Rainbow Man stages. Probably this one I would do it in first try, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Trinitro... Yeah, I, I, I believe I can do it in first try as well, without having to... This is the only one I'm revisiting, basically. Because it's one of the easiest bosses and I went into defeat him first. <clears throat> uh, so yeah. That's all for now, I guess. I'll see you in the next episode, and I would be doing Yo-Yo Man stage, and then Glue Man stage. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.